guys and welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have the RC Cincy Extra segment where I like to feature cool, unique, or collectible items or something that I think is uh, nice or fun or whatever it may be. So uh, I've been in the market for Mandalorian helmet or helmets uh, for a while now. Um, and I was at GameStop. I like to look in there. I think we were at the mall. Uh, my wife and her sister was doing some shopping and I ran off with Bradley looking around at some stuff, you know, uh, doing some boy shopping basically. So I came across this helmet right here. This helmet right here is the Mandalorian Death Watch. So I guess it's one of the, uh, Mandalorian characters that was technically in the Mandalorian. Uh, this is a black series, so it's like their higher-end helmets. Um, and let me quickly switch, put this box on top, and then I can show you some of the stuff it talks about. So this is the box right here. Um, you can see it says Death Watch. Let's turn it away. You can see it says Death Watch right there. A black series has a picture of it. Um, Death Watch, it says uh, Electric Helmet. Then it has a couple other languages on her. It says Black Series on this corner. And then it talks about how this, uh, I guess it's a tracker or a tracking system, how it drops down and it does light up, which is really cool. It lights up in there as well. And it also has, I do believe, I don't know if it has uh, lights in a helmet or not. I can't remember. I have to look. Um, and I thought that was really, really cool. Realistic. They're really well detailed, which I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like right there. So that is the box to the Death Watch. Uh, helmet so it's this one right here you can see it has some battle scars on it i love stuff like that i think it just makes it look better you can see the scratches whatever you got in a fight with let's look at this angle you can see the scratches i love this blue it's almost like purple kind of a dark the light does change the light the looks of it a little bit i think it looks absolutely amazing there is the inside you can see they do do detail all the way around including the front piece you can see out of it very well, so it is designed to be tented, so it's harder to see my face, but then I could look perfectly fine out of it. Um, I don't know if it has any switches anywhere, anything. I thought this one, I don't think this one lights up in the inside like the other one. So this one does require a single AA battery. You are going to have to install yourself. It goes under this panel right here. This pops out. I don't, wanna, I don't like popping it out too much, but underneath that panel right there, there's a single AA battery. You are going to need to... Put that in and this kind of make sure i snap this in all the way that's why i don't like taking it off there we go see that good nice solid snap see that's not moving and then this can come off as well i wouldn't take that off i'll leave it on there the function how this works is there's a battery in there there's two contact points you hit the button this drops down lights up on the back side of it and then lights up the front like you're tracking your target or whatever maybe whatever you're bounting uh, and then you raise it up manually, but you do hit it to go down on its own. Thought that was cool. And then once you raise it up, um, it turns off on its own. So that battery powers that. No other lights inside or anything. It does have this little wheel right here to adjust. I think the other style is better. This one seems to be a little loose. Like, uh, you still can't adjust it. I may put something, I may tighten this up or maybe put a little piece of tape or something to keep it from moving or loosening up on me. Uh, it always just wants to open up to max size, which is fine, but I feel like the other system, which I'll show you, works better than this one. Uh, this one I got a great deal on from GameStop for $99, uh, and her sister made it to my attention that it's selling for a lot more on Amazon, anywhere from $150 to 2 something so um, I don't know if it's more desirable or rare or whatever maybe, or it's at the time maybe doing really well so they can charge more for it i'm not sure how that works i guess supply good old supply and demand uh, but i think it looks very very good it kind of almost reminds me of boba fett is a different color scheme so it's not boba fett obviously but i think it looks really really good you can see it's wider right here it is different definitely from the uh mandalorian helmet they're both mandalorian but uh mando's helmet um so I thought that was cool how they're a little bit different. Um, you know, the sides, it does have venting, like 
you know they're just really nice and then once you adjust them properly they do sit really well on your helmet on your head they do tilt forward and backwards they do adjust around the circumference around your head so they're really nice high quality very detailed helmet this is a very nice helmet i like it i love the box and the packaging it looked really really well so i was impressed with that so we'll quickly switch these boxes around so i'll show you this box first and then the other helmet that had the most newest one so i got this one at gamestop and then probably about a week later i ordered uh this helmet right here so this is star wars black series as well i guess it's their like fan nice helmet you know like the top tier or whatever uh, it says electronic helmet just like this one this one says the mandalorian on it so that's how you know it's the right one i mean the main character obviously on this one it is a little bit different to be honest with you so this one is kind of cool I'll have to get in here to get something to show you. So this one actually has two functions. Number one, it has lighting inside. See those two lights right there? They light up inside and you can change whether they're flashing or solid. So I thought that was really cool. Added effects, you really can't see them and they're not annoying or anything, so that's really cool. And then you have the option to pop the side piece off and put on the tactical light whenever you went in that cave i forget what it was but uh i can't remember the exact episode but that's a tactical light that could be snapped on the side of it you can remove it and put the cover on there so on that one it's not on right now but you can put it on and i'll show you it says black series one double a battery just like the other one uh same placement let me get the tactical light out uh the packaging is very very nice in here it's very protected it's not going to get damaged in shipping most likely unless they're extremely rough with it Obviously, I would recommend them put them in, putting it in another box as well. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So here is the light. So let me just grab this really quickly. I'm going to keep mine in the box. I like it better. It's really preference. Let me close this box. 100% preference. So if you like it the other way, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just how you like it, how you like the appearance of it. So let's just close this box up really quickly. I kind of set it back over here. There we go. So this is the light. So the light is just basically a blue light. And this panel, you can see the contact points just like the other one, same exact thing. And it snaps on. A uh, very detailed, very good looking light. I, uh, this matches the helmet perfectly. Everything matches it perfectly. I chose to use the cover that comes with it. Sorry, I nudged the camera. I chose to use the cover that comes with it. I just would rather have it this way. This helmet looks absolutely stunning. You can get fingerprints on it, which I'm sure I just did, but you can wipe it and put on display. This helmet is absolutely stunning. Has the venting on the back, just like the other one. Has the little side pieces. Um, uh, the other side is the side that everything comes off. This comes off to access the battery, just like the other one. I don't like snapping these off and on, honestly. Uh, and then this one is easier to snap off. That's where your attachment will go. I will put it on just to show you how it lights up. So that piece comes off. And then this one snaps on. And you can control the helmet from inside. This one, I think, is much nicer. There's a button right here. You can see the lighting's on right now. Or is it? Yep, it's on flashing mode. So watch in there. And I'll click it. So now it's pulsating, kind of. See it pulsating? Hopefully you can see it pulsating. Click it again. Solid. Click it again. Pulsating. Back to solid. Click. Now as you're clicking it, this light is supposed to be on as you're clicking it. So let's see. Maybe. There we go. Sorry. So you click it on. Click it again, off, click it on, on, off. So as you're choosing, I guess it's, whenever it's on, it's flash, nope. I don't know, oh. <laughs> you know what though? It does work perfectly. I think these batteries are about dead. Uh, the contact ports work well. Honestly, I think I, when I was, the way I was sitting, the way I was sitting the helmet, another package. The way I was sitting the helmet, it was on this button, so it was basically on the entire time. You press and hold and release is how you turn these lights off. Press it again, it turns back on. And then the light, you can see it on. Off, on. Nice solid clicks, not barely pressing it. Nice solid clicks, it works. 
you got to you got to figure out how to work it out. You like pressing the edge of it, only pushing it on one side. See the lights are in there. Press and hold. Release. The lights are off. But the minute you set this down with something where it hits this button, it will turn on and it will kill the battery. Unfortunately, uh, the inside is detailed. Sorry, I did a, such a crappy job. You can see it's wanting to turn on there. They're very small LEDs. I don't care. It's a lithium ion really it's the optimum battery really good battery so you can see the little all the little detail in there this mechanism i think works better it's these straps right here uh this sit, fits perfectly on my head it gets sized to it correctly it stays nice and tight it can tilt just like the other one it can size around your head just like the other one it is beautiful it's tended where you see you can't see in as well but out of it is perfect just the color and how this looks is just stunning there it is with the light on the side and my personal preference i'm gonna do the light off let's turn it this way so you can see a little better i am personally gonna do with the light off just personal preference that's cool because you can have this like in your little side belt or whatever and then whenever you need a tactical light you basically put it on like he would in the movie or whatever because it's not always on right let me squeeze the sides and pull so i like taking this off and on it has contact points then I am gonna pop on this one. You can see my fingerprints all over it. Pop that back in, and then it's back to how it, in my opinion, looks better. So you keep this in your little side belt in a little pouch, they won't see it. And then you just pop it off, pop that on, boop, and you got a tactical light. So that's really cool. Uh, the costumes are a high quality costume. It is very, very expensive. But uh, honestly, this is the helmet that you would want with a high quality costume. It is legit. It's nice and heavy. It is not metal. That would be ridiculously priced. Uh, no, it's definitely plastic, but it's extremely heavy, even compared to this one. Now, this one's got weight, but the other one is definitely heavier. So this button, boom, winds down, lighting, tracking, clips into place. I hit it from the side with the other helmet. Honestly, they're both very heavy, very well made. That's why they're the Black Series, because they're high quality. But I just feel like I really wanted to share this. The video is about 12 minutes. Perfect. Not a really long video. Honestly, uh, put a good battery in there. I wouldn't keep popping that off, off and on, off and on. It may get easier with time. This one is the light. It's the stiffer one. You can see the contact points are in good shape. Uh, they should work really, really well. I don't think I'm going to have any problems out of it. Uh, make sure you press the button firmly. Don't just barely tap it like I did. It will not turn the light on. Uh, what else? The light's nice and bright blue light. I think that looks legit. That would have been cool if they did the off and on switch on the side. I think that would may have been a little cooler like this actually moving back and forth. Or maybe it's cool that you hit the actual underneath the helmet like you did. I'm not 100% sure. Or did he hit it on his uh, wrist? Not 100% sure on that, but that's cool. Uh, a proper costume will have all the bells and whistles on it. I'm curious to see what it would be for a nice costume. Like, long as the costume itself is good, I don't care if the helmet's cheap, because obviously I would rock this helmet. That's legit. So, a lot of folks don't even open these, keep them in a box as a collectible. I'm gonna have it on display. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be on some kind of shelving. I am redoing my room. I am gonna buy new shelves for my room and my fiance's, because she, she has a ton of squishmallows. So, we're gonna get more nets for her shelving. We're gonna do the same thing for my room. We're going to get my room in order. I literally can't go in there and shoot videos or anything. I have so many RCs and so much stuff in there. So it really needs to be redone, organized. That way I can display all my collectibles. Because I have tons of Mandalorian collectibles, Baby Yoda collectibles, Predator, Alien, uh, Gargoyles. Like I have things that I really, really cherished when I was a child. Like things that I really liked. And I collect them now. So it's nice to have those. Because actually it's really nice collectibles. If you maintain them, you have the boxes or whatever. They can be worth quite a bit. Um, we have some expensive collectibles. Well, not extremely expensive, but some nice ones. We do have a nicer collectible that my fiance is going to hopefully do a video on. This thing is crazy. We have two things coming. Uh, I may do videos on them as well, but they're just handmade, just beautiful works of art, basically. So I am dying to share that with you guys. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. So really quickly, I could pop it on, I guess. Like... When I mean like perfect, like that's me tilting my head. It's on nice and snug. You can adjust the tilt. See, you can tilt it this way or this way. I mean, it's, I can see out of it perfect. It kind of muffles the voice a little bit. It'd be nice if it had a voice changer maybe in there. That would be cool. I'm sure you can add one. 
but it does change the sound of the voice. I think that's cool. Same thing with this one. Uh, they both feel really nice and comfortable. You can adjust them. They'll fit uh, quite a few different size heads, but I just think it looks legit. Like, I really like it. Obviously, the thing to do would be is to wipe these, clean them, keep them clean, maybe get a case, a little plastic little case that goes over and have it on display. I want to visually see it. I don't want to leave it in a box, really. So, um, yeah, I just really wanted to share that with you guys. So, really quickly, I paid $99 for this one. This one, with taxes and everything out the door, was $150. I think they were $139.99. But you do have taxes, not shipping, but taxes are equal in my state 7%. So I think it brought it up to like 150, I think. Uh, yeah, like 150 roughly. I think it was exactly like 150, 10 or something like that. So basically 150 bucks with taxes. This with taxes, you're looking at about 107. Uh, so I think both of them were decent deals. These are already up to like 170, 180 right now. Uh, they can climb, so watch that. Same thing with this. This one was even some uh, Amazon sellers had it more than this one. I can't believe that. So just keep your eyes peeled. Get yourself a good deal. Uh, I could leave links in the descriptions, but they're going to change. Like the prices I said could be completely off or you could get it cheaper. The cheapest I've ever seen it is $139. Previously, there were $179 is when she sent me a link like a few months back. So uh, they fluctuate. Just watch the timings. Depends how they're selling. If they're not selling, they're probably dropping the price. And the minute it becomes a hot item, they increase it. So watch that. Uh, I'm not big enough to make items get increased like that. I notice if you buy one and you try to buy the second one, some places will try to, Amazon, the price will try to grow up on you. Watch that. Go to a different seller if you have to. Uh, go to a reputable one. Uh, this had really good rating. I think both of these helmets have like almost five-star ratings. So obviously that's probably because of the detail and the quality. They're really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. This video is long enough. Uh, I could pop the other one real quickly on too. <laughs> so I do like it a lot and have the thing drop. I like both of these helmets. They are really, really nice. So pop this one on. There we go. Tilt it to where I like it. And then we're going to hit the track button. And then you can see the lights. It is lit on this back side right here. I can't see it. It's the corner of my eye. You can put something in there, like a picture of someone or something. I'm going to put my fiance in there. That'd be hilarious. I'm going to track you down, honey. <laughs> so it does do the same thing to the voice. It changes it a little bit. Obviously, a little muffled with the helmet on. But they're both really, really nice. So uh, there, you can't go wrong with getting either one of these. What you prefer, honestly... Um, I'm glad I got both. At first, I thought this was Mando's helmet because I kind of glanced at it because it was way up high. But this is definitely a different one. I'm glad I got it because it is really cool. Uh, you never know. Maybe in the future, we'll get like Bubba Fed. Maybe we'll get a Stormtrooper. <laughs> maybe we'll get Dark Vaders because they are very desirable and collectible. So that does it for this one, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. This is part of RC Cincy's Extra segment. I know I've done a few of these lately just because Christmas and everything, just getting these cool items. I just wanted to share with you. Um, let me know if you have one of these. Maybe you have the, uh, the Stormtrooper one or the uh, Dark Vader one or something. Let me know if they're cool or if they're good quality or what you know what what's, what's the deal on it. Maybe if you have a link to your channel and you did a review on one, I would like to check it out. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I know I haven't said that a lot. It helps out. Just let you know that the video is uploaded. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please do. I appreciate everyone's subscriptions. Uh, a while back, we hit 10,000. That was like a huge, huge milestone for me, my small channel. Uh, obviously, that's you know nothing by today's standards. But uh, I, I appreciate every one of you guys. And I try to you know do my thank yous with giveaways and stuff. Uh, and I have a lot planned, honestly, this year for this channel. This coming year is going to be, one, I think, one of my biggest years just in the fact that uh, the lighting I bought, the I may even take courses on editing uh, just to make it more interesting. I'm going to start not scripting, but making a beginning and middle end. I'm going to trim the videos down, make them shorter, just to the point and more, you know, better... Um, 
just be basically better editing and just better, more interesting videos. I'm gonna try to improve. You always wanna improve having your channel. Uh, I am working on a logo. Hopefully I get some shirts and stickers made. I wanted to do that in the beginning when I wasn't even monetized, but it was just so much work and I was not prepared for it. I just got laid off. I always do every year. It's just part of my seasonal work. So I will have a lot more time to release a lot more videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy that and that's something you guys can look forward to. So that's going to do it for this one. Stay tuned for all that. I'm so excited for this coming years. If I don't see you guys until uh, uh, after the first, happy new year. Hopefully you had a good Christmas or holiday, whatever you celebrate. Hopefully you had a good one with your family. That's the most important thing. And that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.